Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this Jason's mask. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I got my guy Fly Ty with me. Another episode of Horror Research 30. Yo, what's good? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Just, you know, it's ready for Halloween. It's that time of the year. Everybody's been waiting for since the summer. And I've been well prepared since the year started. Just been going cosplay crazy this year in 2020. Now, what, when did you start cosplaying? Uh, I've been cosplaying for about four and a half years now. Nice. About four and a half years. You know, but uh, I, I just started getting into it, actually, because I, I, I was kind of nervous to act as the characters, but it was interesting to, you know, play the role. And once I, I mastered the Freddy role, I wanted to try to have a challenge and try other people. Yeah. No, that's dope, though, man. It's it's cool, and I know I mentioned it to you before when we were talking. It's cool seeing other African-Americans in stuff like this because we, as far as when people see us, they think it's music, hip-hop, R and B, um, and sports, and B E T movies. You know what I mean by all those black movies. That's like it. It's like horror is like for some, especially like with us growing up. For some, it's like mm -hmm. horror is not the cool thing. And I'm like, I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Horror is dope as shit. I like this shit since I was a little kid. And it's cool seeing other people that look like me that are really into it. It's that's. I think it's awesome. I mean, I love that everybody's into it, but it's just cool seeing other people that look like you that are just like. Yeah, this is yeah, man. This is where it's at. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to take on another level, and it's just it's crazy because I do everything by myself. I don't have nobody do my pictures. I don't have nobody record my videos. Everything is by myself or, or self taught. That's so, good though. I mean, you'll learn from it. Eventually, you'll be, eventually someone's gonna catch the eye and be like, "Yo, I want to work with this dude. I want to work with him with the cosplay and stuff." You gotta start right. somewhere though. But that, but that's dope. You do it. Do you go to cons and stuff? Like horror conventions? or happy Always wanted to go. Never been to one. Oh, man. Yo. No, man. I've never been to one. Always wanted to go. <laughs> but I never knew how to go about getting a ticket. So it's just like, I'm, I'm just now learning everything, really. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of new to the horror community. You know, I used to just attend the parades and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm just now getting into the group pages and opening up my cosplays more to the show people I'm kind of versatile with it so I could, I could act as anybody. You know? Yo, I'm telling you, once this whole COVID bullshit is over with, when they open up some cons, you have to go, yo. It's it's life changing. Uh, and see, uh, I've been ready. Like, I'm, I'm going to give you, here's here's my con advice. My first thing is save, 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 then save some more. But if you can, like, go to a con, and usually they're at a hotel. If you can stay in that hotel, just because you do the cosplay mm -hmm. stuff, it's usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you can stay in a hotel, have yep. your cosplay stuff with you because it's easier. People love that shit. Like, you, as soon as you dress up with anybody there, they're going to want pictures. They're going to love that, which I think is dope. Yeah. It gets me hype watching. I see how people have fun and stuff like that. The <laughs> atmosphere, know. yo. The atmosphere is the probably one of the best 
and most fun atmospheres I've been in as far as like a con type thing because mm -hmm. I've been to like small comic cons, I've been to like you know video game cons, I've been to horror cons. Mm -hmm. But the comic cons and the video game ones, I feel it's like say if you go with your girl, excuse me, whatever the case may be, or you go with your kids, someone there doesn't really want to be there. You're kind of going there for support, but for horror, everybody 100% mm -hmm. wants to be there. You feel it when you walk in, everybody wants to be there, and yo, it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's so much fun. Last time we went, we did the VIP. It was me and my wife and my brother. We did VIP. So with that, you're drinking with some celebrities that go to it that night. They have a VIP party. You're drinking, having a good time with the celebrities. And I bring my podcast. I brought my podcast twice so far. And so they give me a media. I get a media pass. I get two media passes. I get a table and two chairs. I pay for power, and I'm just there all weekend. I do... um. They have me on panels and all that stuff too because of the podcast. And so, because yeah. I get in free, they're like, listen, we want you to be on some panels, which <laughs> it's dope because I get to be on a panel, say, with like, what was it? Two years ago, I was on a panel with the cast from Friday the 13th, part seven, which was fire. That's fire. I've all, I'm also on panels with like other indie artists, like indie producers, directors, or whatever else. And there's some panels they want us to just do on our own, like with a bunch of podcasters. Some is just me and my brother. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm telling you, it's it's fun. I do wish there were times where I had time to be like at my table for like a full day. But the dope thing about sure. that, I get to network a lot more because yes, I'm on the panel with whoever, but I'm also mm -hmm. talking to a bunch of people out there. And every single panel that we did last, what we did this past October was, if it would either be me or my brother, just grab a stack of business cards and just hand them out to everybody so they could check out the podcast later on. Yeah. So it's it's a dope thing and it's a, it's an awesome opportunity. Like I never thought I'd be sitting on stage with some of these people I got to sit on stage with. And yeah, they do they do pop out time to time. Especially like around this time they pop out, but you know, all this stuff going on. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Joe, this one was about in about two weeks I'd have been going to a con. <laughs> in about two freaking weeks for the weekend. I'm mad I missed the um they had a big a big uh, nightmare on Elm Street event where they had all the people, all the main actors from all the movies in one con. Oh. But that was at HorrorCon in New Jersey on the Atlantic Boardwalk. They had all the main actors. They had Lisa, the main one that Freddie was after, yes. and, and all the other actors was in that was in that con. It was like six of them. Is that where I you're in? You're in Jersey. I was gonna, yeah, I was. No, I live in Brooklyn, but I was going to come as Freddie to try to take pictures with those actors. That would have been crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, you're not okay. So, oh man, you know what else is the dope con out there is in Jersey is um Monster Mania, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Yeah, I know about Monster Mania. That I've never been there before. I went there twice so far. That one's a huge con. That one's a really big That's the biggest con I've ever been to. Because I usually go to this one near me up in uh, upstate New York. Mm -hmm. Verona, New York by the Turning Stone. Well, it used to be at the Turning Stone. Last year it was in Rochester. But it's called Scaracon. They used to have that twice a year. And that con. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. It's a smaller con, but I love yeah, it. I just never been to them. Yo. And it's crazy because I'm, I'm following them on Instagram. You know, I think I think Horicon is following my page because they had liked one of my pictures before. Yo, once you go to once you go to one con, that's going to be it. You're just going to be like, yo, I have to go every year. And I know you said you have a daughter, too. It's something to where it's kid friendly to where like, uh, yes, people do dress up, but they won't jump out and like scare, scare little kids and mess with your yeah, children. I probably, I probably wouldn't even bring her, honestly. You don't think so? Like, I'm, I'm too scared? Because her, her mother's the opposite of me. She don't be want her to look at everything I got. Because I got the Annabelle doll and she be, I don't want her around Annabelle. Oh, it's a, that doll is spiritual. I don't want her around that doll. Uh, she, she, might didn't even know I, she didn't even know I had Annabelle, matter of fact, because I got the lifestyle Annabelle. She didn't even know I had Annabelle. By the time my, I was on FaceTime with my, my mother, my mother had FaceTime with my um, girl at the time, and she flipped the camera a certain way, and then it went on Annabelle. She <laughs> said, what the fuck? You got an Annabelle doll in your house? <laughs> I'm like, yo, why you flip the camera? Now, now she's going to be talking on and on about this doll, yo. Damn. But what if, you, <laughs> what if your daughter ended up loving horror? I mean, there's nothing... To me, That's what I'm saying. She she said hi to Annabelle. She thought it was a regular person. She was like, hi. See? Because <laughs> even if you, like, get her into the, you know, the kiddie stuff, like Goosebumps and, you know, stuff like that, like just the simple mm -hmm. stuff in Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is horror. Yeah. She doesn't watch Scooby-Doo. That's technically horror in a sense for kids. Mm -hmm. It is, though. 
And, you know, as she gets older, get into her a little bit more because it's it's one of those things where it's, you know, it's so cool seeing people bring their kids there and their kids are dressed up as like Chucky or like a little Jason or Freddy or whatever. And they're not scared. Mm -hmm. They're not scared at all. The kids actually try to scare people, which I think is awesome. But a little kid dresses up trying to scare you. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. You got to pretend you're scared just to make them feel good. But, yo, that's the con experience, man. It's it's so freaking where I highly, highly I'm telling you, as soon as stuff gets back to normal. You have to check at least once. Like I said, at least once. Bro, I want to. I want to go. I just don't even want to go by myself sometimes. I even want to go though. Bro. You, you'll. I mean, you can even probably link up with people via Facebook or Instagram or whatever that you've met through this. You know what I mean? Through your yeah. cosplaying and stuff, and people will link up there. Like once, you, once you go there, people will talk. Like people aren't real shy there, especially if you go there dressed up. People will be coming yeah. up to you. Hey, can I take a picture of you? Can I take a picture? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's how it was for me at the parade when I was Freddy. Like, people was telling me I was the best Freddy in the parade. See? Like, it, was, it was crazy. I had, there was, a, there was at one point I couldn't even walk. Like, I had like at least 80 people taking pictures with me. A certain part of the, I, I was on the float. Like, I was in the parade, but I wasn't in the behind the barricade. I was actually in the float. That's awesome. So, like, everybody was able to notice me. Like, the whole crowd was able like, to focus on my costume. So when I walked on when I walked in the float, everybody's trying to take a picture. So, so I just couldn't even move, bro. I was like, damn, I'm never gonna leave out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like, I was I, like, I was really surrounded, bro. Like you would have thought it was a red carpet. You, that has to be a, such an awesome feeling though, because it's like, yo, I you know I did this. I t- and it shows you how it I have the video actually. I have the, how serious you take it. You gotta post that video. Post that video. Yeah, like, it, yeah it's actually yeah, it's actually on my own. It's on my Instagram. But I can um, I can share it and send you it though. Yeah, yo, that, that. I, I had I had a real videographer shooting me when that happened. Like he actually was recording me when that happened. Nice. And he had, he had, you know he's professional, so he had the camera going wrapping around the crowd. Yeah. Just to get the just to get how many people was coming after me and stuff. Nice, nice. And then I also for the first time last year, I dressed up in a haunted house. Oh nice. I dressed up as Michael Myers in Blood Man a Haunted House and I was going through the halls and stuff. It was that was that was fun. I actually got to dress as my cosplay in the haunted house. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Right? That was different. So some people be like, you cannot wear your costume in, in the haunted house or you could not do this. But they let me walk through there and then all the people that work in there was trying to scare me, but you know, I played the role as Mike when I wasn't jumping. Yeah. <laughs> so it worked uh- out. That that's cool though, yo. It'd be cool if you can get into one of those haunted houses to to do some of those haunts with them, trying to scare people with them. I just would have to be myself because I can't dress up as the, as the people I like to dress up as. They tell me how to act because I'm I'm used to just playing a role on my yeah. own. <laughs> I hear you, <laughs> but it'd still be fun though. Just scaring people is fun as hell when you oh, do. Yeah, it. Hell yeah. Like I played know. like I, I was Jason on Love. Yesterday, it was damn. I just wish we had Instagram because when I was on live on, on with Jason, at Jason yesterday, the picture I showed you earlier, yeah, people were like my boy. He had a lot of viewers that tuned in because he uh he he uh joined my live on Instagram and people was like, "Yo, that is the craziest Jason costume I ever saw." Ah uh, ah uh, uh. and then you know I wasn't talking, of course, because I was Jason, so I wasn't talking. So it just looked even scarier. Then I had the camera zoom in on the eyes, so my eyes was pitch black. So everybody was like, "Nah, that shit is scary." That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, That's man. Awesome. I, I know how to catch the angles of the outfit to make it look like the movie angles. Yeah. I just wish I had a production team because I wanted to do a fan film one day. I just don't have a production crew to get that together. But I do have people that want to work with me, though. I was just, you got to put that out in the air, yo, and just get out. Facebook has a lot of indie people, a whole lot of indie people that love to, mm-hmm. that want to do something. Like, I have a friend in, um, where is he? He's in Rochester, New York. He just, he's younger, young kid. He's in his 20s. He graduated in about April for, like, for filming, for doing films. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, like, he, he actually wants to work with people in the right, well, he wants to do movie like short films and stuff like that, and like he just he wants it to be to where people will take. Yes, they'll show up. Yes, they'll take it serious, but understand that it's it's not paid because you know what I mean he's a college grad. He just got out of college, so mm-hmm. he can't really pay. But he loves horror. He's a, he's a dope kid too. I told him like you just got to put that out in the air, man, and just let people know. And people will show up for it. A few people would show up for it because they love horror, and it would be a fun thing. It'd be a fun experience. Like how many people can say they were even if it's unpaid. 
you yeah. still get a shot to be in a horror movie. You still get a shot to be seen by somebody once it's out because you know when it's on YouTube or whatever the case may be. And I think I'll see it. I, I think my cosplays that blew up kind of fast because I got I started posting content in my stuff literally this year, like around let me see what's what is it October? Yeah, I started posting content in my stuff in May. And and I have a YouTube channel and the views been going crazy. Like I really have people really watching me. Cause like I had posted the Annabelle, then I had posted content with the doll when I was dressed as the nun. Mm -hmm. And then I had posted some more content with the puppet masters and stuff when I was Michael Myers. And I was getting like and I'm not gonna lie, like in three weeks time I was getting about eight thousand views on my YouTube channel. That's and I only and I only have 200 subscribers so it's like the numbers is crazy because i don't even have a thousand subscribers i only got like 240 subscribers and i'm averaging eight thousand views in three weeks when some people will be averaging that amount of views in three months yeah. and i'm getting that in three weeks so it's like my numbers is like shooting fast youtube and, youtube is powerful though yo, because so many people can go on it and you don't have to be subscribed i mean make a youtube channel you don't even have to be subscribed to youtube to go on to youtube yeah, so I just be seeing like the numbers, cause I, I was like, that's like it's crazy because my page on Instagram, I, it's a new account. I only got like four hundred followers on my um, Instagram, but my insights is ridiculous. Like the people that is that's adding, the, the traffic that's coming to the page is just crazy, cause my page is public and it's like I'm getting a lot of shares. Yeah, I'm getting people like really looking at it, saving my posts. Yo, that's I could see. That video. I can see when they do that. Yep. Like Ain Hodder was talking about your cosplay. That was dope. Yo, that post. I'm not gonna lie. That that post when I had posted that on my Instagram, that post got a lot of likes and comments, bro. That got at least forty something comments and about I think three hundred likes or something on Instagram. And I, 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 my page is fairly new when he when I when I posted that video. But that was that was major though. Cause I had tagged Kane and a few of my cosplays. I tagged him, you know. And yeah, then he, he said, "Keep it natural." That's what I do. I just be natural, bro. I try not. I don't. I don't try too hard. Just like he said, you know. I don't try yeah. too hard. I be natural, bro. Yeah, when he said keep, like keep it natural, just be yourself. Because you don't want to try to be someone else. Cause you're gonna, you ain't gonna do as good. Yeah. And like that, that, that when I seen that video though, I was like, that's fucking awesome. Shane Hodder is like, I know he's my favorite Jason. He's a lot of people's favorite Jason. I'm not gonna lie, to you all the cosplay I own is is the one that he was in. Like the like the one right behind you. That he was in that one. He was in the part eight. Yep. He was yep. in. He was in uh, well the last one I I just wore today. Um, that was the other guy. That was Ken. Ken played in that one. The versus Jason. Oh yeah. The yeah. versus Jason. I'm not gonna lie. The versus Jason. I was a little nervous approaching that Jason for some reason. Because the other ones is because it's Kane, and I study Kane's movies more than Ken. Mm -hmm. See, with the Freddy versus Jason, I kind of just watched it and just liked the movie, but I didn't really study the movement of the versus Jason. I knew it was a different actor, so I was just nervous at how to approach that costume, like how to like how, how to have the realistic look and then how to act as him. You okay. know. Okay. Yeah, but people people actually love me in that one. And, like, the real people that's hardcore fans of that movie, they said I did good in that one. That's dope. There's a, there's a guy that said the Versus Jason movie was his favorite movie out of all of them. So he actually said I aced it. He said, yo, your Versus Jason is my favorite. So I was like, oh, damn, I guess I did a good job in that one. Yeah. yeah that, that, it feels good when you're doing something that you care about. And people are like, yo, you're, you're killing it. Yeah, especially if it's their favorite movie and then they're admiring your look. Yeah. yeah. You got to keep keep it up, man. Keep killing. But what makes me what makes me feel better is when I take a video or a picture, and they think that it's not even me. That's what makes me feel like whoa, because I, I I posted a picture and it was like yo, I thought I was really in the movie, and I'm like that's my that's that's the magic of my cosplay, my photographer shot, my photographer, I pay him for those pictures that he take. So them pictures gotta look like they out the movie because them yeah. pictures <laughs> is not cheap. <laughs> Be mad as hell like your old boy from down the street took the picture. Like, what the hell is this? Yeah, them <laughs> pictures gotta look like they're professional. And the way he takes them, people be thinking it's really the movie. If I don't put that the costume is made by such and such or the shot is, is taken by such and such, people would think I just took the picture off or something. But when I actually hashtag and tag the, the, the people that did the costumes and all of that, mm -hmm. that's when people be like, oh, nah, this is really him. Like, <laughs> like I mean, this is him for real. I might have to hook you up with my boy. Um, his name is Brian, but he goes by South Jersey Jason. I've seen him before. 
he he does a lot of stuff for co- he does. I mean, he cosplays as Jason, mm-hmm. of course, but then he does. I'm familiar, he, has, yeah. he has a. I'm familiar with a lot of the main guys in the group now because you know I I I I, I, I became a major cosplayer mad fast. So it was like my my name is ringing just like South Jersey and a few other guys. So when people mention him and um Thirteen Gallows Lane and them, mm-hmm. I, I'm really familiar with a lot of those guys now. And I spoke, I actually spoke to most of them. I don't think I ever came in contact with South Jersey, but I have seen his part seven and stuff like that. I've seen his pictures with him choking and killing people, but I just never um got in touch with him. Yeah, get get in touch with him though, because he has a a vlog a blog called um what the heck is it? I think. I can't think of what it's called, but pretty much what he'll do is he'll do he'll do like an interview, kind of how I'm doing, but it'll be a blog instead of like a, a video thing. So like ha- he'll have it up on his site or whatever, and oh, have like pictures and have you know whatever you guys were talking about, like what got you into it and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. That's dope, dope, right? Oh, but he's dope. He's he's a cool dude. He's real cool. I've had him on this show mad mm-hmm. times reviewing Friday the Thirteenth movies with me actually. Oh, for real? Oh yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll be on again. Yeah. Oh. That's what I want to tell you too about my um mm-hmm. the network I was talking about earlier. It's called the Z Network, and there's gonna be mm-hmm. a bunch of different content creators on there, podcasters. Um, yeah. I have a friend the on the is that like a that's like a channel or something like that? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a YouTube channel. We I only have two. We only have two videos up right now. <laughs> See, the whole, th- yeah, whole sure. thing was uh we planned on dropping October first, which we technically did with the two videos. Right. Where it got backed up. No, the part where we messed up was we didn't do any type of promotion at all. <laughs> oh, so that's why I didn't take off the way it's supposed to. So when my boy was like, yo, he was like, you sure you want to just drop it today? Do you want, like, we were talking about this yesterday. You sure you want to drop it today? And I'm letting this go yeah. up to the public. I don't care. Or do you want to <laughs> wait for a week or two? I was, like, I was like, you know what? I was like, let's just drop it, man. I was like, because it's the internet. We could easily, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Within a week or two, we could easily get content up there and still, like, every video that I do from here on out, I'm going to mention this, yeah. which I have been doing. And cool. I'm actually doing a live video with somebody else that's going to be that's on the network. Her name is Joe. Her podcast is called Any Last Words Podcast. That's mm-hmm. going to be live on her show Sunday, I think, at 3 o'clock Eastern time. I forgot. Yeah, send me a link for that channel. I'll subscribe to it. Oh, I definitely will. Definitely will. But her, her, like what she does, she'll do like things on Twitch. She'll do things on Facebook slash YouTube slash Twitch, which yeah. is dope with her show. But I definitely will. I'll definitely get you that link. And I'll get you um, South Jersey Jason's information, too, so you can get on his his blog thing. And, um, yeah, I, I actually seen his page. I, th- I think he's following the artist that did his costume, that did mine's. Oh, nice. Um, J3 Jason costumes. He's, he's pretty cool with him, too. Nice. So I'm gonna, I just never spoke to South Jersey. But. Yeah, you should, because he's, he's actually going to be on the network. Too. He's starting a podcast, a horror podcast as well. I, don't I wonder if he's familiar with me, though. I just wonder if he's probably familiar with me. He probably seen my, my name before. Yeah, it's, I'd say just hit him up, yo. Just hit up his South Jersey Jason page and let him see your work. Because he's, he's a cool dude, though. And I, yeah. I can almost guarantee you, he, once he gets his show started, he would have you on. Because he wants excuse me, he wants um, cosplayers on there, I know. And then he wants like the people who design the, the costumes for the cosplayers. Mm-hmm. And just other people as well, but all horror based on his show, all horror based on my show, uh, yeah. that other show. It's, I'm not going to lie, though. It's a small world in the horror community, though. It it's really is. Though. It really is. It's crazy it's because once you mention somebody or meet somebody, somebody down the line, you're going to be like, oh, yo, I know so-and-so, too. Or I met but you know what's crazy? I'm more connected with other Jason cosplayers than Freddy cosplayers. I don't know. It's like the horror community in both fields is different. Like with Freddy, it's like... People be more confidential with their stuff. With really? Jason, it's like they're more open with who does their work and who who does their costumes, and they'll share information with you. But Freddie's more like on a more low key confidential. See, see, I'm not saying I don't see any, but I don't see too many Freddie cosplayers. To be honest with you, I see Jason's the one I see the most. Yeah. No, nah, but don't get it wrong. There's only one good artist that does the Freddie mask. The other guys, they they not as accurate. Yeah, but they do Freddy stuff, but there's only one guy that everybody recommends, which is the guy that did my Freddy mask that everybody goes to. But the people in that group page is very low key, like they very, very low key, bro. I noticed that in the Freddy um group the pages. Freddy. They're not as outspoken like that. Like they don't show as much love as the Jason people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Freddy's more like I'm Freddy, I'm in my own space, mm-hmm. I don't care what you do, 
I see what you do, but I don't care. I'm not reaching out. I don't care to yeah. show love, but I see you. But I got lucky because I actually bought my, my mask from a reseller, my, my Freddie mask. Mm -hmm. A guy was nice enough to DM me and sell me his mask. Nice. And it was a mask that takes about a four-month turnaround time to come back to me. So he sold it to me the next day, and I just was lucky. I, I actually locked up on that. He took $200 off of the mask himself, so I was like, wow. That's awesome. You, know, you don't really get, you don't really come across people like that. A lot of people be like actually scamming in these community pages. They be scamming and stuff. So yeah, like, you gotta be very careful. The resellers and stuff like that. But this guy was really cool. The way he came off was cool. You know, he he told me like, yo, um, don't send it to me as family and friends. Send it to me as the buyer, and um, th they'll hold the money. And when you get the the actual product and you like it, then you can release the funds to me. Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh. You don't get people that like that. They be like, give me the funds now. Yeah. Uh, and then before you know, they ship you something that's probably not even what you will ask for. It'd be like a whole different product. Yeah. You know, I've seen that happen. Like, I've seen, and, and another thing that's messed up in the pages in the horror community is that people be overpricing people from what the artists be charging them for the original mask. Like, one guy sold a Freddy mask. Like, the artist that sold the actual Freddy mask, he sold it for 720 but some guy had it posted, listed in the page for 1300 I'm like, he's bugging. And then people was getting on them for that because they, 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 they give you rules in the group pages. Like, you cannot be, like, doing prices like that in the group pages before you join them. Like, they tell you you can't do that. Private yeah. guardian and stuff like that. You know, people were really trying to rob people. But a lot of people, like, I'm not going to lie, at one point when I didn't have the official costumes, I didn't really know better than myself. I never got scammed, but I'm smart enough to, like, do research. But other people that's really hyped to get it, they're just going to spend whatever they see. Yes, yeah, so yeah, when, cool. when they be like, "Yo, it only it costs eight hundred, all right." But then when after they buy it, they realize the product is really six hundred, and then like, that's why I'll be feeling bad for people like that. I'll be feeling bad because I know me, I do a lot of research, bro. I look at a million YouTube videos of the costume I want to get before I even get it. I just got look you. at YouTube and everything. Yeah, you, you know? definitely got to. So what what got you into horror movies? Like, what got you to watch wanting to watch a horror movie? Actually, I wasn't really into it, to be honest, a long time ago. I used to be very scared of masks. Like, my uncle from my mother's side of the family, he used to scare me with the mask when I was, like, six years old. I never used to want to go to his house because I used to, like, really, I used to cry, run, all of that. Because he used to really, like, come out the closet with the stuff on and run after me with it on. And I really didn't like no horror stuff. And then I, I guess as I got older... My father was making me watch some stuff. Then I watched one of the scariest movies as a kid before I watched any Jason or Freddy movie. And that's what got me like, whoa. My father made me watch Pinhead when I was only eight years old or seven years old. I didn't know nothing about that. <laughs> this is before Freddy and Jason even freaking was really watched by me. Like, I wasn't even scared of Freddy, honestly. But yeah. it just, that Pinhead, like when I watched part one, yo, that part one had me shook. And then the guy, Frank, the burnt guy, Frank, that guy had me like, I was like, oh, I can't watch this. <laughs> he had me watching Pinhead. And then I got scared of Puppet Master at one, at one time when I was young. I was like, yo, this Puppet Master stuff look crazy. Like, these little puppets just killing people running around like this. And now I was like, everything I watch, I own now. Like, I actually own everything I watch. Like, everything I watched as a kid, I actually own the cosplay. Like, I own Darkman. Like, I even have a Darkman cosplay. Nice. Like, Darkman, um, freaking Pinhead. Uh, I got the real Jason costume now, the real Freddy. Like, it's crazy, bro. That's dope, though. Because it's like something that you were so scared of as a kid. Now you're dressing up, dressing up as it. Like you embrace it. Oh, like I really got every official cosplay. And I'm, I'm supposed to be getting the life-size Chucky doll this Friday. This guy is holding the, the life-size Chucky doll for me. Nice. And, and he stands very tall, too. I'm supposed to be picking that up Friday to add with my Annabelle. Because Annabelle is pretty tall, too. That's dope. So, so I'm looking forward to my Chucky doll. Probably going to shoot content in it. I don't know yet. <laughs> Hey, most, most likely I will. <laughs> I feel like you almost have to. If you have the stuff and you're somewhere, I mean, you're a content creator. I just say yeah. keep creating, keep creating. Cause like I said, the Annabelle doll, that doll on my YouTube got eight point seven thousand views, bro, in three weeks time. And that that's crazy. Cause like all I did was I just titled the video unboxing video. I put unboxing Annabelle doll. 
I never really took her out the box and was talking in the video. All I did was just record the the box, and then I just basically after I took her out, I just had her sitting against the wall, and I had dimmed the lights in my camera on my iPhone because you could change the, the the brightness of the light, and I dimmed it to make it look scarier. Then I played her music and the theme behind the video, and then everybody was just like looking at it, commenting like that looks official, it looks movie accurate. Uh, uh, People like that though, yo. People love people love that actually. Like when you do that with unboxing videos, people love watching those in general. And if you're unboxing something dope too, they're gonna watch it. They're gonna check it out. They want to see a reaction. And then when I'm not gonna like, lie, my Chucky doll, that Chucky doll today that I seen in person, that doll look, it look good. I'm not gonna lie, like looking at it, I never seen that actual doll up close like that, like the official Chucky doll. I never seen it up close. But when I looked at it up close earlier, this guy only had one more left in the store. Oh, I'm like, yo, bro, I need this doll. He said, I got you. He said, I know you be collecting stuff. He said, I already know you. You be collecting. He said, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sell it. I got you. <laughs> I said, I need that doll, bro. I need it. Because, you know, if you order those dolls online, they be trying to keep them in the, for, for shipping. It's like it takes two months almost to ship it out. And then you go on eBay, they overcharge you. Oh, yeah. So I'm, this guy was like, I'm going to give it to you, man. I know you want this. I'm going to give it to you. Because, you know, most of the stores that get the dogs, they don't get large shipment. They only get, like, one or two boxes. They don't really get, like, a large shipment in the, the life-size dogs. When when you say you said you're getting it next week? This week coming up Friday. Next Friday, yeah. Oh, yeah, next, nice, nice. I know you're yeah, happy about that. Bro, I cannot wait, bro. I'm paying the money. It's going to cost over 500 but I don't, I don't even care, bro. Oh, Man, so I need it. The, um, the, the official one. Yeah. <laughs> It's so official, bro. It looked good. Like, like when I tell you it looks good, like the skin tone of him, everything on that doll yeah. looked good, bro. The skin tone is like a dull peach. It's, gl it's glossy. Like, it looked it look real, bro. Like, and they come with the official good guy box. Oh, that's funny. Like, nah, I, I need that doll, bro. I, I'm going to do a YouTube video on that doll. I need it. <laughs> you have, you better do a video on that, man. And I, I, need the, I need the link for your YouTube channel because I got to see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my YouTube. I got all my cosplay videos on there. All the videos I got on Instagram is on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. What's your YouTube channel called? Well, you can look at that right now, actually. It's, um, you have a laptop in front of you? Yeah. Oh, it's Tariq, T-A-R-I-Q. Fly tie, like uh, F-L-Y-T-Y. -Y. And then it's bands with a Z at the end. It's B-A-N-D-Z. Yeah. It should come right up. It should come up. Yeah, I found it right here. And you're going to see my latest videos I posted on there. I got, like, all my new stuff on there right now. I'm definitely checking this out. You're going to skip my Annabelle doll video. That video got so many views, bro. That, 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 even the Halloween one, the Halloween 2 video. Yeah. A lot of lot of views on that, too. Man, even the, um, the Jason one. Mm -hmm. You're going to see there's a lot of good content on that YouTube channel I got. Now, you got some good stuff up here. I'm checking it out. I'm definitely going to be watching these videos at some point. Got the Hellraisers up there. Hellraiser. I got a lot of dope stuff on there. <laughs> All horror mainly horror stuff too mostly yeah, it's hard. i have some i have some other stuff in there too but it's like when i kind of first made the channel like when i was into the fashion and stuff like that but majority of that channel is straight up horror yeah i even got the live video when i went live as freddy i got the whole video of that when i was on live as freddy and my boy is jason that one is dope that one came out pretty dope just to, just to show people how it'd be if freddy and home was on live and then i'm drinking from the jason cup and i had the jason mug in my hand <laughs> I went came out. People love that video, the live video. People love that. Cause what I try to do is October now, so I'm trying to just go live every night and cosplay. So you know, like tonight I might dress up as something else. But every night I do cosplay on live on Instagram. See, that's smart though, because then you're getting more content, you're getting more views, and then you can put that same stuff up on the YouTube after. That's that's intelligent. That's real smart. Yeah, bro. That's so how I'm like. I, I'm trying to have the engagement better too. You know, just to get people engaged. And what's good is that I let people that have a lot of followers join in. Like my boy yesterday who who don't even do cosplay, he just wanted to join me. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let him join. He got 90,000 followers on his Instagram. So I'm like, let me let him join. He got 90K. So he joined in. We got like 30 viewers on the live video. And what happens is everybody be like, oh, and then the traffic comes to my page. and. Then, Mm -hmm. That's how you grow, though, yo. That's smart. That's how you grow. And between that and I'll say definitely, definitely try to reach out to other podcasters to get on and do some interviews. And definitely next time we're next time I have you on, I got to have you got to be dressed up. As long as, as long as everything's cool and everything's good, you got to be dressed up as. Oh, if I'm dressed up, you're gonna, this is going to go viral. 
I'll, I'll say it's either Freddie or Pinhead because Jason don't even talk. <laughs> I wouldn't even do Pinhead honestly because the Pinhead is not uh, is not a silicone mask. Okay. Some latex, but I would do Freddie or Jason because the Freddie one is a silicone. The Jason one, I don't have to talk, and it's the money like. It's mainly like the hockey mask and the freaking. Cause I'm not gonna lie, even Jason on when Jason was on Arsenio Hall's talk show, he didn't talk in that whole interview. <laughs> that was, yo, that was hilarious. That was so well done. I'm trying to do something similar to that. Where I don't gotta say nothing. I'm just in character. Like I'm just straight up in character in the Jason. We could do straight something up. like that. I mean, if we do something that's like say like a ten to fifteen minute thing, kind of do something like that. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe I'll have one of my co-hosts on where, where me and whoever talking back and forth and trying mm -hmm. to get shit out of you. We could do something, but that'll work. That'll that Jason pot, that Jason interview will be yo. When I tell you that's gonna go viral, bro. That would be dope. If I put on, if I put on the right Jason costume, out, out of my three, honestly, if I go live, if I go on, on a podcast with you as Jason, the one I probably would choose, I might have to do a Kane Hodder one. I might have to do a part seven in that. That's the best. That's my favorite one, yo. Hands down. You see, I might have to do the part seven. I might have to use the part seven for that podcast interview. That'll be cool. That'd be my dope. eyes are gonna be pitch black, bro. I'm, just, I'm gonna look just like that dude. <laughs> That's dope. I'll be playing a role good in that seven. How is it? In the, like, how long do you stay in those costumes? Like, because with the mask on, just the breathing, I know it has to get hot in there. I mean, I wouldn't say it gets hot because I'm used to it, kinda. Mm -hmm. But it's all about it's all about how your body absorbs it, you know. So, like with me, I know. It's just a matter of how you, uh, how you, it's like some people can't take it. Some people get overheated. They faint. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like my brother had a Michael Myers cosplay one time. He actually faded right in front of my face before. Cause like he, he had on the Michael Myers, but I guess he gets very hot. Mm -hmm. He passed out and we had to pick him up. Like he passed out, bro. You know what I'm saying? But me, I'd be so into character, bro. I don't let nothing stop. <laughs> I don't let nothing mess me up, bro. <laughs> So it's like, but it's scary to see somebody else faint though. Like when I seen my brother fall down, I was like, oh shit. Cause he fell out on the train. It was, he was like on a train and stuff and he just fell out. Like he was standing up one minute and he just collapsed, bro. Like straight up. Damn. I was like, whoa. And then when he got up, when he got up, his eyes was all dazed. I was like, damn, like. Yeah, you good? <laughs> bro, it's crazy. I'm like, that can't happen to Jason. That's why Jason constantly breathing like that. That can't happen. I gotta constantly be breathing, bro. <laughs> Yo, um, I seen one of your pictures where you were on a train. Now, how do you? How are those reactions to the people that are on the train with you when you're taking those pictures? Oh yeah, that, that photo was honestly. I wasn't really paying attention to people, honestly. But I know people was probably watching. It. Yeah, because like my my costume looked wet. I had the the, the wet part eight on, so I know people probably were like, "Don't touch me, you look wet." But yeah. I, that that was good though because. My my boy wanted to get a lot of New York City themes. He wanted to get like a lot of New York City themes and I shoot that night. He was like, I want to catch you on a train. I want to catch you on the platform. I want to catch you on Times Square. I want to catch you in alleyways. I want to catch you. Just the way Jason was in a movie. Like Jason was actually on a train in the Part 8 movie. So he wanted to catch me in that. He wanted to actually get me also between the cars. But you know that I couldn't do that anyway because the way the trains are set up. But I would have been dope. Like when Jason looked through the thing like that, through the oh, doors. Yeah. I would I would have definitely wanted to reenact that same scene, but the trains be moving. <laughs> yeah, that that that's one of them things where you have to know somebody and have the right about them. I'd be like, look, keep this thing still. I got to do this. <laughs> like, keep this yeah, I definitely wanted to do that scene though, but it's like ah, whatever. You know, but it's dope. Like I kind of wish that they had a graffiti train. Cause remember, like back when that movie came out, everything was graffitied out, mm -hmm. like the trains and all of that. So I just wish. That they had like a like a actually like a hip hop museum or something where I could just like dressed up as Jason in one of those little fake trains. Yeah, and had like the graffiti theme. I'm walking through it. That would have been a dope photo shoot. Like that would have been kind of fire. You might be able to find something even if you have to go outside of the city or something. Though I'm sure I'm sure if you connect yeah. with more cosplayers and stuff like that, they'll be able to tell you something. That, that I mean, maybe even in the city. I don't know. That's a big yeah. you Come here. There's like an abandoned train station or whatever. Like something like that would be dope if you can find like an abandoned station. Man, that would be crazy, bro. That would be crazy. This is my first year, honestly, though, that I've been celebrating Halloween every every day. Because, like, normally, it's like every year I'll be waiting just for Halloween to come. Mm -hmm. But this is the one year out of my whole life I bought that many cosplays in one year. Like, I never bought, like, honestly, this year I bought, like, I bought about eight cosplays this year, bro. Are you, now, speaking of Halloween, are you doing anything special? Are you doing anything small or anything at all? 
or you just kind of uh, Halloween, I was really just planning on just getting a, a hotel probably around Town Square and just shooting pictures in the city. Oh, nice. Like, probably going to Town Square, do a photo shoot there, walk around to Soho, wherever I think that people would be dressed up. Just hang out. Yeah. Just get, like, some real good shots and stuff. And do, like, little mini movies of me walking in places. It's like I'm about to do some stabbing or some, something like that, you know. That's awesome. But, but I think that would be dope. Because I kind of was going to do two cosplays on Halloween. I was going to dress up as one thing early in the day and dress up as something else probably at nighttime or something. I know. If I would have seen my daughter that day, I probably would have been Spider-Man during the day and probably been Jason at night or something. I was going to say, Jason, you have to be that. Actually, that would be like the perfect two. We got Spider-Man during the day, then you got Jason. <laughs> you yeah, got my, Jason. Spider-Man, my Spider-Man costume looks pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. The Spider-Man costume is dope. My, my boy actually liked my Spider-Man costume because it looks like the movie one. Do you it's, not, the PS, it's the PS4 Spider-Man cosplay I got. Oh, nice. Now, do you like cosplay? Do you like cosplaying as a horror character more or like Spider-Man? Or is it about the Honestly, same? my I'm I'm more I, I perfected the horror. So the horror is more of a fear because I know how to really play the roles. I'm not I'm I'm still fairly new to the Spider Man role. Mm-hmm. So I can't really do all the poses and stuff like that. So I'm still learning how to do certain things. But they actually have YouTube videos on how to do Spider Man movements and stuff. So I was watching that yesterday. They show you how to do the flips like home, how to do the roles, how to how to go in position to, to pose and stuff. So I was just looking, studying stuff like that because this guy was actually showing you step by step how to do the, the cartwheels and everything like Spider Man. Nice. So they got videos on that, so you can play just like the cosplayer, the Spider Man. Because I still got to perfect Spider Man. I only know how to do like certain poses for pictures, as him, but I don't know how to do the movements with him. So, but Jason and all of them, I got that to the T. Like that's this is just too easy for me. Like that's just too yeah. easy, bro. Like I, the Freddy people like me as Freddy more than Jason. Like, that's the surprising part. Not even just because of the realism of Freddy, just because of how I move like him. They just like my movement as him. Like, they just love the Freddy movement. Like, if you look on the YouTube video, when I'm in that, fake, that live video with my friend, mm-hmm. they say I got the movements to the T, bro. That's all. Awesome. The Jason, I, the, the Jason one, I got that angry demeanor with me. So it makes me look like the good, like the real good Jason. Because Kane, you know, you know, Kane Hodder. And the guy Ken that played as Jason in the last movie, they kind of their body language is different in both costumes. Like they yeah. kind of move differently. So it's like I got more of the Ken harder in me than a than a Ken. The Ken I'm still learning how to how to move like him. Now, would you do and would you uh, excuse me? Would you do any other Jasons like from Part Three when he first got the mask? One more, one more Jason. I'm doing. I'm done. Really? The last Jason is Part Nine, and I'm finished. Ah, uh, so you're getting all Kane. What about Jason X? I mean, you did. <laughs> oh no, nah, I'm I never was a fan of that one. I'm gonna do the part nine though. The nine, the nine. I like that look that he got for the nine with the with the, the and all of that. Yeah. With the with the with the belt tight on the stomach. I, I like that look. Yeah, that look is just very gory with it, with the hair wild. Mm-hmm. I like that. You know, I just like that look. Like his whole body is burnt. So I, I'm I'm gonna do that. That that Jason goes to hell. And I'm officially done with Jason. I'm going to have all the Kane Hodder costumes. I'm going to be finished with Kane Hodder. Retire. Man, I don't know. Like, I think, it's of Jason X, though. The Uber Jason. That's Kane Hodder, too, man. To be, to be honest, though, That's- Jason X, to get the accurate costume for that one, is very hard. Yeah, I don't that see one, it like, ever. Bro, I seen only one good Jason X guy, and I, me and a guy spoke like recently. Like He's the only guy that buy the Jason X. And I like when I see certain people buy these certain costumes, I just leave it to them. Like, I just don't even bother with it. I just be like, yo, you know what? You got it. You killed it. I'm not even gonna touch that one. Like, like that's you. Like my boy, like my other boy that killed the part six. I'm like, I'm not doing part six, bro. You buy the part six. I'm not even gonna touch the part six, bro. Like, I'm done. The ones that I did, I ain't seen nobody top mine yet. Like, I ain't seen nobody top my seven, my eight, or my all my verses yet. Cause I got the bloody versus Jason. I got the bloody. I ain't seen not one cosplayer top that yet. Even the part eight I got. Like, I ain't seen not one good part eight close to mine yet. Cause you know, like, even, like the thing I tell people is kind of like fashion. Cause I'm into fashion too. A lot of people could get the same costume you have, but a lot of people don't have the swag you got. Like, yeah. like people could have the same exact costume I got, but they don't have the same swag. You know. Because it's all about how you wear it. If you don't wear it 
to where you know how to act as it in it, then it's not going to really mean nothing to people. But if you know how to play the role in it and you know how to wear that costume, then people want to admire you in it instead of the other person. You know? Yeah. It's just like with clothes, with fashion, you could wear some fly-ass outfit and y'all could both have the same fit, but if you're not wearing it right, or you sagging too much or something, and they, people like how the other guy wear it better, then the other guy's the one that they're going to admire better with it. You know? Mm-hmm. That's how I am with the seven, eight, the seven, eight, and, and um, the verses. I ain't seen not one person really kill it the way I did. No, one person really do it. But when I see the other guy do the six, and I do, I see the X, I'm like, I, I keep the crown. I'm not touching those costumes. I'm not. <laughs> people ask me, they say, you going to do part six? Nah, I'm not doing part six, bro. I've seen somebody really buy the part six. I'm, I'm good with the part six. I'm, I'm straight. And then the, the X, one guy killed the X. One guy. <laughs> one guy bought that X costume. And then the thing about it, he didn't even buy the whole costume. He said he made some of it in other pieces he bought. And that came out so accurate. So I'm like, yo, you got that to the T, bro. I'm not even going to touch that one. Mm-mm. That's, that's real cool, though, man. That's, that's cool as hell. And your YouTube channel, though, that's... I see you got like 90-something, what did it say, 90-something videos up here. And I see you put content up just about every day, which I think is dope and smart, especially since, you, well, I mean, yeah. it's the second day of October. But. Yeah, I keep it active, bro. What I try to do, I try to let the views build up before I post another video. So I let the views, I let people get in tune before I post something else new. Mm-hmm. Just so they could just like, you know, like it, subscribe, whatever, whatever. But my subscribers went up fast. Like, and I barely be like, I barely ask people to subscribe to my channel. Like, I, I don't really ask nobody to subscribe. I just try to keep the content flowing. Cause like if you think about it, I be promoting it in my actual pictures. Like when I be tagging my name and this stuff, like when I be putting my name on the photos and everything, it's like I'm already tagging my social media is already in it. So it's like I don't really have to like put nothing there. And if you go on my my own Instagram, I have a link already in my bio which says all my links. Like it's a it's something called all my links. So all you gotta do is click on that link. Every social media pops up for me, and then they just choose the one they want to get on. That's smart. I got my YouTube link on there, everything. I even got my PayPal link on there. <laughs> hey, that's smart. Everything is on there. <laughs> like, yo, book me, book me, book me for parties, book me. It'll happen, though, yo. You keep doing it. It'll eventually happen, especially once this whole COVID thing is over. People are going to want to be out doing shit. And yeah. These cons, going back to those cons, yo. When those cons come back, you have to hit at least one con up. For a weekend, oh, I so I want to I want to do it too. I I, I want, but I don't want to go to just any con. I want to go to a con that's gonna be lit, bro. Like, I want to go to something that's gonna be like, damn, I gotta meet this person, or I gotta. Honestly, yeah. yo, I feel like I've been to the bigger cons with Monster Man. I've been to smaller cons like Scarecon and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Both are definitely worth. Like whatever one you go to is worth it because it's just like you're gonna meet some cool ass people there. Not just the celebrities, but you're gonna meet some dope ass fa- dope ass fans there. Which you're gonna make some friends there. Just just from the fans alone are cool as hell to meet because there's so many people that like you you won't th- you don't think like going to a con. I never thought that there was that many horror fans mm-hmm. until and I mean I'm not even talking just like black. I'm just just everything across the board, every race, every gender mm-hmm. across the board. And you go there and it's like holy shit, everybody here is here because they love horror movies. <laughs> and like you could be in line like there's been plenty of times where. Yo, nine times out of ten, if I'm in line, like, around my house, say, you know, I'm not at home, but say grocery shopping, or even if I go to a store and buy something dope, like a figure or whatever, I get impatient. I get impatient as shit, like, fuck, man, do I really want this? Versus, like, if I'm in line at a con, I'm fine. I'm just talking to my wife, my brother, and then the people around us, we're just talking horror, and by the time you know it, you're in the front of the damn line, either getting an autograph signed or buying something or whatever the case may be, but it's... Yo, it's so freaking worth it. So worth it. See, yeah. look. Let me show you. Hold up. Yep. My bad. I'm in another room right now. No, you good. You good. One of them is. Oh, Chucky. My favorite one. But my main favorite one I got. This is one of my favorite ones here. Blade. Yeah, he's actually uh this one right here is handmade. Let me show you the blade real quick. This is a handmade figure. Sculpted like the movie. Mm. 
Gotta put some st- some stuff in your podcast real quick. Show them a little bit of heat. Oh, shit. <laughs> this one of my f- yo, bro. This is one of my favorite ones I got, bro. Shit, that'd be my favorite too. One of them. <laughs> oh, this one looks. This one is made so perfect, bro. Like, he looks. He looks good, bro. Like, the blade looks so. This is the the accurate size of him too. That's fucking good. But look, let me show you. Your, let me show you your other fair one. I know you like. I know you like Pinhead. Have you seen Pinhead? Yeah, my wife's a bigger fan of Pinhead than I am. But Pinhead is pretty dope. I got the real one. I got the actual real official one. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you my Pinhead real quick. Oh, from Puppet. I'm thinking Pinhead from Hellraiser. Uh, that's, that's dope. This is, that's dope. This is the official. Look, he's the official one. See the sweater. The sweater's cashmere. The sweater's actually handmade. See, look. The head move. That's awesome. Yeah, this is the, everything is handmade on this one. The, the pants is made by hand. The gloves is made by hand. He could even move his fingers, so he could stick up his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, these puppets right here. Like, what I wanted to do a showcase with all my puppet masters. I wanted to actually bring them to a horror con and have a table for them so that people could take pictures with them. They'd probably be trying to sell them. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't. I, I would never sell these. No, nah, I feel you. I would never sell. Look at this one. This is another. This is another favorite. Oh, six shooters. Six shooters, amazing, bro. This is the real size one too. He's, a, he's actually the tallest puppet out of all of them. So cool. It looks good. I know people, if they take pictures with this one, they're like, oh, six shoe, look like a fish shoe. But just imagine, I have all of these guys in one room together right now. If this came to life, you'd be done. <laughs> you could do. You better just leave. Bro, bro, I got all of them. All of them here together. Hold on. Wait a second. Tunnel oh. That's your favorite too. Tunnel it, man. You gotta have the tunnel. You see the scope on his face? Mm-hmm. He's, he's, he's made pretty well too. Right? And a lot of these are made by the independent artists though. Because uh, you know it's another thing too. Mass production don't do good work. For mass production, they don't really do good work. The, this stuff be the paint job gonna be good on this stuff. I bought a few things from mass production. Like you see this tunneler, I had bought a mass production tunneler, but then I had to get his head his head taken off to get a custom made head on him. So now he looks a lot better. I like that. Yeah, bro. But I don't think I'm gonna ever sell them though. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't either. Like I'm the same way with um my collection. Like I, my thing, my my collection thing is, I got a pretty dope person myself, and I wouldn't let it go. It's like, and that's obviously the only way. Oh shit! I would never, I would never get rid of this. Like, she's she's actually chilling. Old and Chucky, babysitting. <laughs> Yo, I think honestly she's scarier than Chucky, bro. I, like, if I was to watch Annabelle as a little kid, I would be scared. Compared to Chucky, because Chucky's funnier to me. Chucky's funny. Annabelle is scary as hell. Like, I'm still, I'm not gonna lie. Even right now, I'm still scared of this dog. Cause like, she do look like she's looking at you when you're not even looking at her. Mm-hmm. Like, is that scary? Like, she looks like she's staring at you when you don't think she is. And I'm the type of person. If I had a doll like that, I would move it around the house. Like, say if you're sleeping or whatever. <laughs> Like, but scared. no, you know what's creepy? What's creepy is that she stands tall. Yeah. Like, she, she stands, bro. I had her 
I was in the dark one time. I had stood her up, and I stepped mad far away from her just to see how she looked. She stands about almost almost four feet tall. That's when I stood up, her head was up to my stomach. <laughs> It's like, awesome. Yeah, because she's taller than my daughter. My daughter's walking. She's taller than her. So it was like, it looks scary. That's you know, another doll I thought about getting? I don't know if you went to Twilight Zone, but I was going to get the Talking Tina. I haven't seen I'd have to go back and watch that. I haven't seen Twilight Zone in years, to be honest. I do like it. Watch the Talking Tina episode. Talking Tina? That's the original Chucky. Like the original. Like way back, like right, this like nineteen sixty, probably nineteen fifty something. The episode is called Talking oh, Tina. Now, if you go on YouTube, you'll see like matter of fact, if you type in right now, you see like a snippet of how she looked, okay. and then you could watch the actual video on Fire Stick or something when you get home, or you just type in the episode for that one. Talking hey, Tina, you are gonna like that one? Oh, yeah, that's a creepy ass looking doll. She talks. She be like, she be, she be like, I'm not your friend, and you will not like me. She be saying some next stuff, bro. Like it'd be like Chucky, but it'd be crazy. Like she's like the first Chucky though. I see a gif of it right now. It says my name is Talking Tina, and I don't think I like you. Yep, that's it, <laughs> bro. Watch that episode, bro. You're gonna love that episode. I'm gonna have to. Watch it. You gotta watch. Twilight Zone. That's something I really enjoyed was Twilight Zone. I just haven't seen it in a million minute. Look, there's two episodes. You gotta watch the Talking Tina episode, and then you gotta watch the Dummy. They have an episode on Twilight Zone called, called The Dummy. You gotta watch that one. That's when they're gonna show the Dummy Dog. He's a ventriloquist dummy, and he's gonna be he kill people too. Nice. Those are my favorite episodes of Twilight Zone when I was growing up. Are you gonna get that Dummy too? You can find it. I don't got space. <laughs> you see how much dog I got here, bro? Yeah. Yo, look at this. They are lined up. They just look so screen accurate. It's my look at them. They look too screen accurate, bro. It's scary. Like the blade, the blade alone. Look at blade, bro. Yeah, blade. That's. Bro, you know what's crazy? Look, this is what people be asking me. Does his mouth open? Yep. And his mouth open, bro. So, see the actual mass production, the mass production dolls, the eyes don't move and the mouth don't move. Yep, because I have one. It's put away somewhere. It's over here somewhere. Oh, you, oh, you got a blade? Yeah, I have blade. I have, I like, I get a lot of the, um, I just go to stores and grab them. Like, the mass, most of the mass production stuff, like the, uh, I can't even think what the hell they're called, the brand they're called. Sure. But that, that one right there you have is freaking, that's dope. That's dope. The only me and one other person got this one. Like me and me and the other guy, we the only two that got the official blade, bro. Like the official. The only thing I'm missing on mine is the belt, cause the the guy when he shipped me out the puppet, he forgot to add the belt to it. So, but he said he made the belt. He just gotta ship it to me to put it on the trench coat. Nice. Cause he made he made the belt though, and it's like it's really high quality. Like the way that it's made, the shoes is leather too. The shoes is leather. Cause you know how like with the full moon, they just paint it. Mm -hmm. like, this, like this blade, look, let me show you how he's made. The blade, everything is made like real good. Look, show you the material. See? Mm -hmm. Got the good boots, the good knife, the face, the scope of the face is crazy. The face scope is no joke. I, the, the the two main ones you have to have official with blade and pinhead like those are the favorites like those two are the favorites of the, of the crew the only one I'm gonna get now is the torch I'm getting the torch see my and my two favorites are, are is blade and the jester the jester I love the freaking jester it's spinning oh, yeah, I seen I seen the jester I seen that one you know what's funny the, the star went to earlier they had the jester in there they had it in there too they wanted her for one eighty five I actually seen jester in the store. They, they said they wanted 185 for her, and they wanted for Torch. I think they wanted um 240. 
the torch. But not the way I'm, I'm getting this Chucky doll, though, so I might have to stand back from the puppet masters. You know? This is Chucky doll. Like, yeah, I need that Chucky. I need it. I, need I, hear, Chucky, bro. I hear you with that. And I, I'm the type of person, like, I don't see anything wrong. You know, some people be like, oh, why are you spending all that money on people say, yeah, these toys and stuff? Like, yo, I'm going to put it to you like this. One, this stuff is dope. Two, this stuff is going to add value. Like, if I don't, you know, nothing happens to this stuff, say, 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, mm -hmm. if I didn't need to or want to sell it, I can get some bread for it. Yeah, like, that's like, that's just like for my, for my Freddy Krueger mask. That mask, like, if something was to happen to Robert England, he was to die or something. My mask actually looks exactly like this guy. Like I could I could turn into him if I wanted to. <laughs> like like the mask, like the, the silicone mask I got is so is sculpted just like Robert England. Like it's really sculpted to him. Like when people like that Freddie picture of me right there, like that looked like home. Like that just looks like home. Yeah. All the way. Like, when people see that, they be like, damn, that's you, bro. <laughs> they be like, shh. I'm like, yo, bro, that's me, bro. In that, that's me. No, like, awesome. yeah, that that looked just like the actor. I don't even look like you in there. Is your family into horror at all, or not really? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you. My father, my father got a collection, low key. Yeah, <laughs> See, I, yeah. yeah. Like, he got a, he got a low key collection. Let me show you. No. Nope. He got a uh, well. He just got action figures. Really, he don't really got nothing crazy. He's just like I got this. I got this guy though. <laughs> from Ted? Yeah. That's the official Ted. He be cursing. He be, he be, it's a cursing doll, though. You know that? I didn't, I never, I've seen the movie. I didn't, I never seen the doll in person, though. But nah, I that doll, that, that doll be cursing. Like, like when you press the button, she see like nine different things. He be, he be doing orgasms. He be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then he, he be singing a thunder song. He be, uh -huh. he be like, let's sing the thunder song. He does a thunder song. He also uh, he be cursing. He be doing like, all kinds. This is oh yeah. This is my father's collection. Though. Nice. That's his other. Uh, oh yeah. Look who else. Look who else we got. Ah, nice. A crypt keeper. Remember that movie, Tales from the Crypt? Oh, yeah. I like Tales from the Hook, too. Oh, yeah, you know what? You know what I'm about to get that nobody don't got? I'm about to get the slave doll. From Tales from the Hood? I got somebody that makes it. They 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 make the slave doll, bro, from that third episode. Oh, shit. And it, matter of fact, I'm trying to send you a picture of that real quick. That's dope. I'm going to show you how you look. You're going to be like, what? They got that? I'm like, yup. Nobody, nobody else will make it. But you know me. I'm always getting something that nobody got. You did, Speaking of Tales from the Hood, did you see the second one on Netflix? I don't, I don't like it. I, I don't know anybody that likes that video. I, I was so mad when I watched it. Like, me, me and my brother did a podcast on it, right? And the episode's been out for maybe a year now. We have, whenever that movie came out. We have we still have this open challenge. It was like anybody who really, really enjoyed or loved that movie, we want to come on here and debate you guys about it <laughs> because it was just so bad. I, it was it was it was it was horrible. You know what's crazy? The new generation likes stuff that we don't like. Yeah, they do. For anybody from the nineties horror era, like the nineties horror. Anybody from this era is like that movie was good. Just like the just like the Chucky movie, buddy. I hate that movie, bro. You didn't like the new, I, you didn't like the new Chucky movie? Nah, bro. I liked like, it. Like, like they concept is good for the new generation. They concept of how he's a robot. Like, yeah, that, like if I didn't grow up in the nineties Chucky era, I'll be like, yo, this movie is the shit. But yeah. I ain't like the whole robot. I ain't like because I'm so used to the original scary one. Like, I'm so used to the original. Yeah. Like how he was originally in part one and two. Like, no. that's, that's that's the ones I like. I, the new ones, it's like I was mad I spent my money for that. I was tight. Oh, I loved it. The new one from, what was it, last year? I I really enjoyed that shit. I thought it was fun. It was funny. It was more of a comedy. It was more of a comedy to me than it was like an actual horror flick. 
You know what I'm saying? Because like his his original movies wasn't on a comedy side, more like he's just a killer doll. Like he was just the a first, killer. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that with the first two, I believe. But after the first two is when it started to get a little bit more. They got sillier and sillier. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like like from Bride of Chucky was okay. And the other movies they was alright, but I honestly stopped caring about the Chucky series after part three. After yeah. part three, I kind of just fell back from like caring about the movie series like that. I was like. I couldn't really get into the Chucky. It's like, mm mm. Cause I was, I was like, nah, I can't get into it. Cause he, he, uh, oh yeah, look at this. Uh, this is the the slave doll. I'm trying to show you. Um, the slave doll. You gotta see the slave doll, bro. Yo, look, this is the Chucky doll. I'm getting. See. That's fucking awesome. That's the one I'm picking up this week. He looks so official, bro. Nice. He looked too official. That's the exact. But you see how the, the skin tone is on that. Uh, he looks super realistic. That one, I'm like, whoa. Daniel, let me see what other. Uh, Damn, I wish we really had Instagram, bro. Because you know what would have been fire? Like, all my followers would have been tuning into the podcast. That shit would have been dope. I might get, but, uh, I might get one again one of, one of these days. I might do one. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. Like, some people on Instagram, they have podcasts on the ground. Some people actually have podcasts on Instagram. Oh, really? And, yeah. They be, they be really hosting their podcasts. Nice. Like, they be interviewing rappers and everything, and then people just join into the, the live. They join in. Nice. They look in. They comment. You know, it would be fire, bro. You know? But I know I know if you edit, you got to probably post it on YouTube and on a website and stuff like that. Yeah, well, right now, I po- video-wise, I post it on YouTube. My audio, I post it on um, this. It's called Podbean. And then from there, it'll share onto, like, Spotify and all those other platforms. Oh, for real? Yeah. So, like, this oh. this will be on YouTube and on, like, I can, this will be audio and video, so it'll be all over. Oh, okay. <laughs> What about the visual part of it? The visual where they see like the banner and everything. That'll be on YouTube. Oh, That'll be Which channel? Doesn't it be on your regular um Yeah, Horror Research Thirty. Did, did, did you wait, matter of fact, I'm also just follow you now while I'm on here. What's your YouTube? It's uh, I I just subscribed to your channel. Like well probably All right, let me see, hold up. It's called wait, Horror Horror with Search Thirty. I don't got no notification. And then that's where I am, like everywhere. I probably have to go on to your um look at that. People d- text me right now. They're like, You wanna go on live tonight? <laughs> they wanna see me in cosplay. They wanna see me in cosplay. You you gotta do it for him, yo. You gotta do it for him. They're like, You going live tonight, bro? You going live tonight? You going live? <laughs> it's, it's one of them things to where like once you get the fans that they're asking for something, you gotta just give it to them. Somebody just asked me just now, you going live tonight, bro? You going live? <laughs> And you said you want you did say you wanted to do thirty one days of horror you know, or thirty one nights of horror, so you, you gotta you know you gotta people, give them what they're asking for. People were people were liking that Jason yesterday. I was loving that Jason. What are you going as tonight? <sighs> man. I don't know if I should do part seven or nine. I don't even know. I don't is, even know, man. Is that something you wanted to get ready to do? Like as far as dressing up or not not too too long? Jay, like Jason stuff be he be having mad layers of clothes. <laughs> You be having too many layers to put on. Sometimes you could get hot in it. If you're not in a good ventilation area, you could get hot. Yeah. If you're not like in high AC, and you could be like, <laughs> oh damn, wow, that's crazy. Now, something just caught my attention just now. It said DJ Khaled signs twenty million dollar deal with Jeff Bezos for a podcast. That just that just took my attention just now. Like I'm like, what? Twenty million. Cause, Cause Jeff is rich. Twenty million. Jeff is a rich ass dude. Wait, I'm trying to look for your thing. Hold up. So I'm on. Uh, I gotta go to my channels, right? My my uh, subscriptions. You could, oh, yeah, and you could find it there, or just type in the search "horror with Sir Sturdy." Uh, let me type in horror. Yeah, and then with Sir Sturdy, and you should find me. S I O, you came right up. Subscribe. Oh, you got a lot of subscribers, bro. 
I'm getting there, man. I'm trying. Once I get to 200, I'm going to do a. I have like a box full of things. I'm just going to grab like four or five things from it and figure out a way to do a giveaway for it. Oh, I like how you did the edit for this video with this girl. The edit came out dope. Sports are yeah, her channel is another channel. Check out Any Last Words podcast. It says episode 136 featuring Joe of Any Last Words podcast, yep. Remy Demons. Yep, her. Her channel right there. You got to check that out. Hers is. Yeah, hers this came out fire, bro. Dope stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I like how you. So, like, the one for us, you're going to have like a banner like this with both our pictures on it? What I'm going to try, yeah, because I, I need to remember to do that. Like, the background that I use, what I'm going to do is, like, make it so it's with my, how, can I, see, like, how you, see how it says, like, horror story? Yeah. So it'll have, like, my background with yours overlapping it or under it or something. I forgot how I do it. Oh. So I'll have that and our pictures on top of it. Oh, that's dope. What's up, Yes, yeah, it looks official. Like, you have like the little green, the green screen, and everything looking oh, official. Oh, oh, that that's an old video right there. <laughs> I can yeah, just tell doing, my uh. Looking kind of, this is looking type of official, though. I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate looking, it. Wow, I see. Like you on this side, so you got it side by side. Yeah. See, that's what I did with my older videos, but what I'm starting to do now is the full screen one. Just so you can oh. kind of get the whole atmosphere, the whole thing of like the background that I have, and then what I'll do for my, like for your video because it's um it's like this with the cell phone video. So I'll have a picture, two of your pictures on each side of your camera. Two oh, of your okay. pictures on the left and the right. Got you. When it goes back to fourth year. I like how you got the things up here too, like the like yeah. or something. You don't have to. You don't got something where you could, you could put the you could put the um the person's Instagram or something on the on the video part. I could. Yeah, yeah I could do that. That'd be dope. Cause sometimes people might be like, "Well, what's their information?" Like when you, mm -hmm. like when you're talking to them. I, like, I could do that. I could do that too. And then what I also do is in the description, I put every like for you. I put like your Instagram. If you have a Facebook fan page and all that stuff. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking right at it right now. So that way, people can right to your page and go check you out. Yeah, all that. I'll see you when name is the link below. This is dope. No, this is dope. How long the podcast been going on? If they vary, yo, like some hour, hour and a half. They, it really varies depending on what we're discussing. If we're viewing a movie. No, I mean like how long you had the podcast? Oh, my fault, my fault. Uh, this January, January 1st will be three years. Oh, I've been around for a long time. And like, I just started um, video, like, like really, really doing videos probably like in March. It's a lot of episodes. It's a lot of episodes. I, oh, yeah, yo, I got 130 something out right now. 138. You was ever able to put it on Roku or on Fire Stick Roku or anything? Not yet. That's 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 something that's good. that's that's going to be in the works with the whole um the network thing. Talking about I mean, like we want to have a channel on Roku slash Fire Stick, so like everybody's content will be on the Roku Fire Stick. It'll be my podcast, other horror podcast, other content creators, not just horror, like other content oh. creators in general. Now that's fire. It looked like a lot of editing, like a lot of work you put into it. Honestly, it, it's. It, so you you do graphic it, design too, then you do graphic design. I wish, nah. <laughs> how you do your, how you do your videos like this? It, it looks mad like talented, like this one right here, especially this one. I'll sh I'll have to show you. Matter of fact, let's wrap. I can, we can wrap this episode up real quick, and I can show you a couple. Of oh yeah, 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 yeah. We wrap it up. Yeah. All but right. um, go ahead. If there's anything you want to plug, like your Instagram and all that, go ahead and plug your stuff, and then just um, at some point, just send me your links, and when I put this episode out, I'll have your links like down below. All right. Do that. Yeah, let people know your Instagram and stuff. The Instagram is horror cosplay underscore fly tie. At horror cosplay underscore fly tie. F L Y T Y. Is there any place? Make sure I check, sure right. I check that out. Got all the cosplays on there. Got Marvel cosplays, horror cosplays. If you want some 90s horror, check out the Instagram. Let me give them, give them a follow, people. Is there anybody else people can follow? Oh, your YouTube channel as well. Tell them about that. Oh, yeah, the YouTube channel. Also, uh, check that out. This is uh, Tariq Fly Top Bands with a Z at the end. I have a, tons, of, tons of video content on there. 
if you guys like video content and cosplays, I have a tons of video content for hardcore Jason and Freddy fans. Nice. So make sure you guys get in tune. I'm always active on there. A lot of new content is coming. And I'll definitely be putting those up. I'll have it so people can go check check all that stuff out. Definitely go follow him. And real quick for people, I, you guys should know where to follow me and where to find me. But like, like and subscribe. Yes, <laughs> like, like and subscribe. Like, like, subscribe, and follow. But as and far follow. as I know, Facebook, I have a Facebook group called Horror Research 30. Feel free to share anything and everything horror-related, including your own content. I have a Facebook page with the same exact name, Horror Research 30. That's strictly for the podcast and, like, updates whenever cons or whatever comes back from something horror-related. Yep. Um, if you ever want to be on the podcast, shoot me an email, horrorresearch.sturdy. Again, that's horrorresearch.sturdy at gmail.com. What else is there? My YouTube channel, Horror Research 30. My YouTube channel, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. We'll be able to watch me game with me and usually my brother and whoever else is gaming with us. Um, yeah, and definitely people, like I keep saying, well, like I've been saying for the past two episodes now, the Z Network is up and running. It's starting out slow, but there's going to be some dope content on there. There's going to be a lot of horror content as well as other content on there, and it's going to continue to grow, so definitely check those out on there. The Z Network, and I will post the links for the Z Network YouTube page down below as well. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening, and as always, I'll see you in your nightmares. Look.